Sadio, well done today. Did the team have to be patient to eventually break through and break Crystal Palace's hearts? Well, I think uh, it was well, it was a really, really tough game, to be honest. I think uh, we, we worked hard, very, very hard to, to get this three point, which was not, not easy, but uh, we expect this because after Wednesday Champions League game and uh, you don't have enough time to rest, but well, I think, uh, yeah, we, we tried our best today and uh, finally we got three points, which we really deserve it. Do you feel it out there when you are playing in midweek in big Champions League games against the team that's had that rest? Well, I think uh, it can be the most <laughs> complicated game, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, you have to be uh, prepared well uh, monthly, sick leaving is not the case, but and uh, especially focus from the beginning because you can have maybe one chance and you score and you finish the game. I think we, we don't create many chances today, but uh, I think uh, we play very, we did very well, very well our set pieces. And uh, I think we scored our three goals from, from set pieces, so we are very happy about it. Another game where you score three goals, but did you show different qualities to the previous wins? Well, I think uh, obviously, I think it's all, they all have a great qualities, to be honest. And uh, maybe the team, the t how the team, team plays is different, but uh, that's, the more, that's not the more important for us. The more important for us to, to create uh, chances and to, 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 do, to score goals and try to win uh, the games. Um, and um, physicality in the game was immense. We had to be really ready in each situation. So they kept it. So they played good football, but they kept it quite similar. They didn't come through with, with the stuff they actually want to do. But the chips in behind our fullbacks gave us a struggle. That's um, because then Saha, Ayu wanted to have that. The longer the, the game went, they, they used that more and more. And so we had to run a lot. You can't press any kind of balls. It's just you have to defend that. Everybody has to run. And we set it plenty of times, and um, the Wednesday Saturday rhythm, Sunday Wednesday Saturday is really hard. Um, and but we, we came through. We scored wonderful goals. We used our set pieces today, thanks to Pete Kravitz and uh, and James and all the analysts, because it's 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 really massive in games like this. If it would have been a one nil, if, if I would have said these are exactly the games you have to win. Well, let's have a look, shall we, as to how he became a Premier League record breaker. It was a move that came off the training ground, Michael. I think so, Manish. Yeah, just keep your eye on Mo Salah at the back post at the minute. There's the goal scorer eventually, Matt Sadio Mane. But Mo Salah runs from the back post and he runs around the, the crowd of players. That's the best view. And then his marker actually gets blocked within the group. And, uh, and it's a simple tapping in the end for Sadio Mane. He goes high. I think that's the best way, righty. When, yeah. the, when the goalkeeper's about to slide back across, yeah. go high. Go high. You can see it there. MacArthur couldn't get round. Very. They, they've obviously worked on that. It looks. It looks. When you see it, you see MacArthur struggling to get round the wall. Um, but like his um, reactions was fantastic there. It's incredible, isn't it? Scoring in nine consecutive league games against the same opposition. Why is that? <laughs> well. It could be coincidence, but one thing is for sure that you, you turn up sometimes at certain stadiums and you fancy it. I yeah. mean, I used to enjoy going to West Ham, Newcastle, Anfield, and certain games, I used to go to Highbury, your yeah. place, uh, Stamford Brit, just mm. the goal felt it was like it was half the size. So I do <laughs> think if you've had success at a club or a ground in the past, you do yeah. feel more comfortable going mm. there. I'm not sure what, if you've got any theories, but yeah, it's man. quite coincidental as well. Yeah. I don't know what it is. To be honest, once I got Venice Burke out, I fancied myself at any ground. But <laughs> it was always Everton for me. Everton, Southampton. I kind of you know, I nicked a couple against Villa. Yeah. Sometimes you just go and just feel good mm. when you go there. And because you know that when you go there, you normally score. You actually go there thinking, yeah, I normally score against these. I'll see yeah. how I go. Just happened like that. So Liverpool with that 1-0 lead couldn't breathe easy. Palace continued to ask questions. That's what made Mohamed Salah's goal, Liverpool's second, all mm. the more important because they needed this. Yeah, they did because, like I say, Palace, we, we know that they wouldn't give up. We saw that against West Ham, but Riedeval there was really poor marking. Mm. You know, he's got him. You see, he's got him here. I cannot understand why you would leave one of the most potent strikers in the game like that. You've just got to see that out. You know, Patrick would look at that. He'd be very, very disappointed. He's got him. And then... You know, he's taking his eye off the ball. Mo Salah, obviously, very, very sharp. Look, he's moving, Reid ball watching. And you can't do that. Um, you can't do that against that calibre of striker. Yeah. You'll be punished. Fair play to Mo Salah. First goal he creates by making a great run to the near post off a set piece. And then the second one, he's, he's running to the far post. And both occasions, he's lo losing his marker, which is not easy to do. That's a super goal. Because he's going... But you know, you know the thing with this one, Michael? He's, he's, he's going backwards on his heels. Look, bam. To hit that... 
when you're going, look at him, watch. He's going backwards and now he's got to steady himself. That's top, top quality technique. Yeah. I'm pleased for him, Cater. Mm. I really want to see him do well because you keep giving him another chance. In my mind, I keep giving him another, another chance. I keep saying, right, come on, this, this is your time now. He's not had a real clear run for Liverpool, injuries, things like that. Yeah. I do, I've seen him before playing for Leipzig, being brilliant. Mm. I'm desperate to see him do so well, but he is being a slow burner at the minute, so he's got to do more of that. Yeah, and with Manchester City dropping points, it means that Liverpool go three points clear uh, at this early stage, of course. I mean, something we mentioned at the top of the programme, do they continue to go under the radar here, Liverpool? Well, now they're sat at the top of the table, maybe yeah, only for a few at, hours, they? then uh, they won't be under the radar. When, when, you, when you ask Pep Guardiola and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, managers like that, then they won't be under the radar. I just think for the fans, for us talking mm. uh, on this show and, and things like that, we're always talking about the new signing, the excitement mm, absolutely, of, yeah. of other people, and Liverpool haven't done that. They've kept their squad and they've got everyone fit again, which is important. For I, think what, I think what they've done is, um, like what we saw today, Palace was a tough game. You heard Sadio Mane say that. And they didn't do anything special. They were just very solid in what they'd done. And they were very clinical. Because, again, what he said was they didn't create too many chances. But the chances they got, the mistakes that Palace made, they were very much punished for them. They've got Brentford away, City at home, the next two. Pretty contrasting mm -hmm. fixtures. But if they get to the Brentford game, mm -hmm. of course, that Man City game is going to be huge, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's going to be huge anyway, but if they're sat at the top of the table... Yeah. Mm. It's no matter what time of the season, yeah. that, that That's clash, a big game. It's, uh, it's, it's one of the big games of the mm. season. Isn't it? So, yeah, I still think that... Well, Chelsea could have burst into that top yeah. two now. For the last few yeah. years, you can't discount them, Liverpool and Manchester yeah. City. It's, uh, it's, it's one of the big games of mm. the season. Isn't it? So, yeah, I still think that... Well, Chelsea could have burst into that top two yeah. now. For the last few yeah. years, you can't discount them, Liverpool and Manchester yeah. City, hasn't it? So that's almost the, the big game at the moment. But now you just can't discount other teams now. OK.